Good evening, I'm John Faboni, founder and CEO of Operation Spark. We teach kids to code. If you are from here, you are probably aware that youth are disconnecting from school and employment at an alarming rate. What you may not know is that we are also starving for software engineers. In fact, software is uh, is dominating the economy, uh, but with few schools teaching it, one million software jobs are going to go unfilled by 2020, and we're already seeing this locally with thousands of open positions. And this workforce problem cannot be solved with one more charter school or another certification course at Delgado. These programs move too slow, they cost too much, and they go out of date too fast. Software is eating the world, and institutionalized education cannot keep up. To meet this demand, every school in New Orleans needs computer science on its curriculum, and we need rapid workforce uh, uh, programs in, in software, especially for those kids already disengaged. And if we do this, the impact for low-income communities in New Orleans will be immense. If we don't do this, these well-paying jobs will go out of state, and two-thirds of them already are. To meet our mission, we're supporting schools by training teachers to implement our software curriculum in their classrooms. And for students, we run immersive coding boot camps, both in schools and in workforce agencies. In the past month alone, we trained 10 teachers from KIPP, Renew, uh, First Line, Lake Area, and Sci High, and we ran four boot camps working with over 60 students. These kids are coming in with very little knowledge and they're leaving novice developers. They learn from pros the most in-demand skills and they're writing real software with industrial tools. But our goal here is not to just peak interest in coding. It's to get kids jobs. And to do this, we run our own software studio called Prototype. And in Prototype, our bootcamp grads work alongside professional developers building uh, prototypes for startups and, and education entrepreneurs. And they get paid while doing this. It's like Cafe Reconcile for software development. Uh, Melvin here, one of our first students, had dropped out of college. He was bouncing from one dead-end job to another. And after training with us, we hired him full-time as a software developer. You'd be interested to know that our grads also worked with Idea Village to get their website ready for this very no event. And their project manager came back to me to say, these kids are the bomb. Max and I have been training kids on the job for over 15 years. We know this pattern works. We have a small staff of two. We move quickly without great expense. And in partnering with Youth Empowerment Project and Urban League, we're scaling effectively by leaning on existing locations and resources and their expertise and behavioral counseling. We're also working with the city of New Orleans now to pilot a new project, a new program in the Youth Detention Center, uh, providing incarcerated youth this same tract of education. And we're well positioned on our board with Tulane and GE and iSeats. And to help us teach in all of our boot camps, we brought together the uh, staff, the, the uh, computer science departments of Tulane and UNO, and we have this awesome core of volunteer software engineers from companies like Mudbug and Surge. And this means that our students are being mentored by industry pros that will recommend and hire them. To scale from here, we need to bring on a project manager, and we've raised half the money to do this. $30,000 will allow us to make this hire. And with this new support staff, we'll bring 50 students through our prototype program and into the workforce in a year and a half. She will also help us coordinate our massive summer boot camp, bringing together all the kids from our boot camps around the city. Uh, now that they have skills, we'll be writing software to address problems in education over the summer. A vote for Operation Spark is an opportunity to support every school and every workforce agency in New Orleans in opening a new door to prosperity for our youth.